Hello, everyone, and just breathe. <clears throat> Excuse me. My name is Saucy McFoodlefist, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I am going to be your host this evening, and I am wearing my COVID mask. So let, I'm going to I'm going to see if uh, I sound better with my mask on when I record these videos, or if I sound better without the mask. I have a sneaking suspicion that oh, oh I didn't introduce the video. This is going to be have a deep breath with me episode of five, I believe. I, I, I think it's episode five. Anyway, before we get started talking, let's go ahead and take some deep breaths in through the nose and out through the mouth. Three, two, one. So first of all, I would like to apologize for my refrigerator going off in the background. I don't really have much control. I mean, my fridge, <clears throat> excuse me, my fridge goes off pretty much 24-7. And uh, I, I don't really like recording in my bedroom because it's not as comfortable. It's not as comfortable as laying on the couch. So that's why I record on my couch. So I'm sorry for the fridge noise. Just think of it as beautiful white noise in the background to help you relax. Anyway, I wanted to tell a story today. So as you may or may not know, depending on how many videos of mine you watch, I am on Tinder. And if you don't know what Tinder is, it's a dating app. And so I was on Tinder today and I was changing some of my settings. I changed my theme song on Tinder and I changed my top prof profile pic. And then all of, all of the sudden, I got banned. Yes, you heard that right. I got banned from Tinder. And, <clears throat> excuse me, and I, and I still honestly, I don't know what I did to get banned. But, I did, and I, and, and, and I won't say that I'm upset about it, but I'm not really upset about it, because 99% of the people that I've met on Tinder, well, actually, I take that back, 100% of the people that I have met on Tinder are absolute trolls and not worth my time, you know, pretty much everybody, except for the exception of possibly one person, but we're not going to talk about her. Everybody that I have met on a dating site has not been worth my time. And I fucking hate that this is what we are reduced to in the times of COVID-19, that I'm not allowed to go out and meet people and go to bars and have drinks with people and interact socially with, that, like, with them like that. I am stuck with fucking dating apps. <clears throat> Excuse me, anyway. Let's take three more deep breaths. In through the nose and out through the mouth. Three, two, one. <laughs> You know, just as I was thinking that I didn't have anything important to say, important to say in this video, I thought of something to talk about and then I immediately forgot it. So that is the curse of making a YouTube video. Let's see, I, I watched some football today. I'm a big fan of the Las Vegas Raiders. For another, oh, sorry, my mask is itchy. Oh no, now there's hair in my mouth, hold on. Okay, I just got the hair out of my mouth. And now I just itched my nose. Anyway, I'm a big fan of the Las Vegas Raiders, formerly the Oakland Raiders. 
Bears, and they won their first game today. Granted, it wasn't a very good win, and their defense totally sucked, but I'm happy that they won nonetheless. You know, I'm happy. I have watched that team lose for so many years. I've watched them lose for basically every season for the last 20 years, except for with the exception of three, uh, three of the season, three of the last 20 seasons. They've, okay, well, maybe five, five. Oh, see, there's me lying again. <clears throat> Why am I such a liar? I don't get that. We'll get back to that in, in a minute. Anyway, five of the last 20 seasons, the, the Raiders have done okay, but for the most part, they have sucked my entire life. And quite frankly, just watching them win one game makes me happy. Anyway, we're going to talk about me being a liar after these next three deep breaths in through the nose and out through the mouth. Oh, sorry, I didn't count down. Three, two, one. And again, right before I started those deep breaths, I remembered what I had to say that I forgot. And guess what? I forgot it again. So now you're stuck with me talking about how I'm a liar. You know, as a human being in general, you would be amazed at the things that come out of your mouth if you really pay attention to them. And if you don't pay attention to the things you'll say, that you say, then you'll probably, <coughs> excuse me, if you don't pay attention to the things you say, then you'll probably never notice, you know, how much, how dishonest you are as a person. By the way, tangent, I think that I might have COVID-19 COVID because I have a sore throat. And you might say it's because I've been making a lot of YouTube videos and talking lately, but I really, I haven't been talking that much more than I normally, okay? Well, again, maybe that's not true. There's me being a liar again. Once again, how many times can I fucking lie in this video? I have, obviously, I have been talking more than I normally do, and maybe that's why I have a sore throat. But maybe also it's because I have COVID-19. Anyway, like I was saying, if you just, if everyone, everyone needs to do this, everyone needs to just start recording themselves 24-7. I wish, one of my, uh, one of my biggest wishes right now in life, hold on, I'm gonna scratch my leg. Alright, um, one of my biggest wishes, wishes right now in life is that I wish that I had cameras in my eyes and I wish I could just record everything that I do 24 seven. And I wish that I just went onto a live feed on YouTube and people could just watch me and comment on the things that I do. You know, it's not like, <clears throat> excuse me. It's not like I live, I live a very interesting life, but I think it's a cool idea. I know that they have Google, 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 Google Glass. So, you know, it's not completely out of the realm of possibilities to start recording everything that you do and say in real life. You know, would you be interested in that? Leave it in the comments below if you would be interested in a 24-7 live feed of my life. Actually, scratch that. Leave it in the comments below if you want me to go live on YouTube. I think it would be interesting to do a live video, but I don't think that I have a big enough audience to warrant me going live. Anyway, let's take three more deep breaths in through the nose and out through the mouth. Three, two, one. You know, speaking of Tinder and dating apps and all that stuff, I was talking to another person today and, uh, you know, we started out having a pretty pleasant conversation, but as soon as the conversation 
conversation turned to religion and spirituality, and I started expressing, sorry, <clears throat> and I started my expressing my spiritual and religious beliefs, this person got completely turned off for me, and you know, I was being very open-minded, and I was being very normal about it, and I don't understand what people's big turn-off is with religion, like, I under I, I used, I'll admit it, I used to be an atheist from the ages of 25 till 30, I was an atheist, I didn't believe in God, I believed in quote-unquote science and you know and i believed that when you died like that was it like the light switch turned off but fortunately or unfortunately depending on how you look at it for me uh i'm no longer an atheist because i feel like god has spoken to me and that god has revealed himself unto me in a way that i can no longer deny the existence of god and since then i have looked into the app like I've, I've done some research into the afterlife and i am 99.9 if not 100 percent certain that there is an afterlife and i believe that we're going to get into that more during our path to asceticism so go back and watch my my path to asceticism videos if you're interested more in like my spiritual side or also go back and watch have a read with me um yeah yeah i'm reading a book about uh, joseph smith and uh it's it's a really good book whether you believe the stories in that book or not and, you know you know that's up that's up to your interpretation but whatever happened in joseph smith's life was obviously um a pretty historical and monumental event whether you believe that he was a prophet or whether you believe that he was full of shit it doesn't matter anyway that's the fifth time you okay let's take three more deep breaths in through the nose and out through the mouth three two one
that's going to do it for today's video. Uh, I hope you all enjoyed listening. We're going to watch our last breath die. And goodbye, everyone.